Do we have any indication when or if uh, a vaccine dose could be approved for people under the age of 18? Um, could it happen this year? And, you know, if that does happen, whenever it does, how, just how significant, in your words, uh, would that be for alleviating concer- concerns right now within schools? Yeah, so the the things that we are learning about this virus is that it does not seem to have as much of a severe effect on young people, particularly uh, children under 10, and we say 10 because that's the age group that most of it has been uh, studied in, Um, but it is a gradation. As we get older, we have uh, more likely to have reactions that are similar to uh, young adults. And we also know that most young adults uh, don't have severe illness or complications from COVID. So that is why the vaccine development has been focused on adults and particularly older adults. Having said that, the Moderna vaccine is undergoing trials right now in uh, people as young as 12. So there may be uh, vaccines that are available and approved for use for for young people 12 to to 18 in the coming uh, probably months from now. Um, And some of the more traditional vaccines, uh, unfortunately, some of the ones that were under development have shown not to work very well, so they have uh, abandoned those. But some of the more traditional, what we call protein subunit vaccines, have been used in children for a long time, including influenza vaccines, for example. So when they become available, they may be um, licensed for use in children. But more importantly, if we think about who's most affected by COVID, it is older people, people with underlying illnesses and the vaccines that we have now work well in those groups so it is more um, we're more focused on the adults in the school system right now um, for their protection rather than the children who we know don't get it as often don't pass it on as often and thankfully don't have a severe illness